So here is all the Lego power functions. So you can make a basic car, but yeah, a, a, a not so fast car. Well, that, that, that's why I'm going to get a RC motor, so I can power my power, um, my cars, my RC cars, quite fast. But this is relatively fast, so it, uh, I'll manage. So don't worry, I'll still make some videos about these weird little things. But anyway, um, I'll, teach, uh, I'll teach you all about them. So this is the battery box. It... Uh, this is what powers all your motors and all that shaz. So yeah, it takes six double A's, as you can see, a lot of double A's. That's the only bad thing about this stupid thing. But anyway, um, yeah. So there's a on-off switch. It goes uh, that way or that way, backwards or forward. Uh, you can do anything. But uh, I'll do a test. So. Say so you just do a normal motor, it's called the M motor, it stands for medium. So you just switch that up into the hole there, put it on, and look it's running. You might not be able to see well because, you know, the camera's a little far. Here, I'll, I'll go get a, an axle so it's easier for you to see. Alright, I'm back with some axles, so let's do this. Okay, so I'll put it one on now. Okay, so let's see it. So, I'm guessing that's clockwise and the other way anti-clockwise. So, that's pretty sick. And you can do um, two motors at the same time. So, I'll show you. See. Well, this one's more faster, you know why? But less torch. So, um... This one's more easy to stop, and this one's harder to stop. Uh, but yeah, so this uh, the fat one has more uh, torch, and the, this one has less torch, but that's faster and that's slower. So I guess that makes sense. Sorry about that, that was a bit mumbo jumbo. But anyway, okay. I'll be showing you the Lego receiver, this little baby. Now, this thing, you need this thing to use this little controller here so the receiver has a red port and a blue port so just connect that up like so and it has four channels if you have like four remotes I highly doubt that or some people have and so here's the controller pretty basic I'll just take these things off so that's what it originally looks like. So here's the two buttons. And see it goes up and down. Red switch, blue switch. Four channels and they just weird things that just change it, whatever. And you can customize it however you like. I just do that. And yeah, so the way you connect it up, you have to um, get your motors, plug it up to the receiver. So you know, on, you know how I said blue port and red port well so and red switch and blue switch on the controller well you just connect it up or connect the motor you want to use for which switch you want to use for this so so I want to use the XL motor for the blue so wait the red switch so I just connected up to the red one like that and the M motor I'd like to connect that up to the red switch so I just connected it up to there so just leave it like that, pretty simple, and then let's test it out, just turn it on, and let's do it. Whoa, it's moving. Alright, now let's do the other one, wait, I'll just leave it like that. So do you see it? Uh, got that one. So yeah, that's what basically it does. So this is really good for my Lego RC cars. So I can have a controller and I can control my RC cars for this one to steer and this one to go forward and backwards and all that weird stuff. And yeah, in the future, I'm going to get some RC, uh, some RC motors and some um, rechargeable battery box because I don't want 
you know, to get batteries all the time, you know, uh, that's annoying. And a servo motor, just for better steering. But anyway, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned.